Yeah, are you having any fun? Fun, fun, fun. Are you having any fun? So you're gonna sit down video for Vlogmas today because honestly, today got away from me. I spent pretty much all of today just organizing my office. And even though I felt productive while I was doing it, I'm going to be a thousand percent honest. It doesn't look any different. Um, I organized my bookshelf in the living room though. And by I, I mean, I literally gave my fiance piles of books and said, while I organize my office, will you organize these by genre? I literally gave him four genres, fiction, nonfiction, poetry, and witchy shit. And I'm like, just put it in order of those genres. Just put each genre in a pile, all set. So he did. So that was easier to set up the bookshelves once all the books were separated so that I could separate genres on the bookshelf, if that makes sense. I guess I sort of wanted to address why this week went the way it did and why after a full week of vacation, I'm still not even close to being unpacked. I scheduled my vacation for this week long before we knew that we were moving into this apartment because I got a third week of vacation from work this year. So I decided, hey, remember when I got a week of vacation at the beginning of Vlogmas? That really helped me with Vlogmas. It really made it so that I was able to get the hang of filming every day and then editing a night before going to bed. It really helped so much with that that I'm like, why don't I try that again? Unfortunately, as you know, time was going on, I was realizing more and more that I was about to burn out. It wasn't that I was just exhausted. I was straight up heading to burnout, not from Vlogmas, but from my day job. Like too much is being expected of me balancing all the stress from that job, which anyone who works with me understands how stressful that job is. Anyone who doesn't work with me probably thinks, oh, it can't be that stressful. When I tell you it is, you have no idea. All my coworkers can probably tell you that they're all headed for burnout, and if they're not, they see me burning out at work every day. But I was heading for burnout and trying to balance that with, I never see my sisters anymore. I extremely rarely see Casey. We were talking every day, me and Casey, but even that had fallen off a bit because I was getting so close to burnout that I couldn't balance sending a simple text message or making a simple phone call with working my job. That's how much I was headed towards burnout. I'm in a group message with my sisters. I could barely respond to those messages because I was heading towards burnout. Which, Becca, Sarah, Sam, love y'all. Sorry that I've been so flaky. But I can barely talk to my sisters. I can barely talk to my best friend. Like, my fiance has friends that he always wants to make plans with, which is great. Don't get me wrong, I love his friends. I love his friends to death. I consider some of his friends to be some of my closest friends now too, honestly. <laughs> But that takes a lot out of me when I have no time to myself anymore. And that was part of what I wanted for this week. I wanted time, as the introvert that I am, to myself, to regroup, to calm down. And then he took the same week off as vacation. Now, I'm not upset with him over that. I just wasn't expecting it when I first put in for this week off for him and I to be on vacation together. And then we were. So yeah, we got some great adventures out of it. I wouldn't have gone to see Casey if he wasn't on vacation. We wouldn't have had that day of just adventuring if he wasn't on vacation. We wouldn't have gone to Ikea if he wasn't on vacation. It definitely helped me get some stuff done, but there were some days that I just sat down and I just said, I need to be alone. I'm not gonna lie, at one point earlier today while I was in my office, my office is my me space, by the way, if y'all weren't aware. My office isn't off limits to him. It's not, you can't come in, but it's my me space. It's decorated how I want it to be. It's, if we get into an argument, we need space to cool off. It's where I'm gonna go. It's going to be my safe space, which I truly believe everybody should have some place that they can go to calm down and be their safe space. And I don't necessarily mean that everyone needs to have like, a two bedroom and like have your own room and the other one gets a living room. But that's sort of what's happened with us. The living room is Tom's. Like all of his movies are there, all of his like gaming knickknacks are there. That's Tom's room. Like a thousand percent, that's Tom's room. If I wanna watch a movie, 
too bad that TV's his. I can watch a movie either on my computer in my office or in the bedroom. But like the living room is Tom's room. My office is my room. But how burnt out have I been this week trying to be this productive? I sat down and I turned on a podcast to listen to in the background while I cleaned. And I just sat in the chair and I did nothing. I didn't look at my computer screen while the podcast was playing. I didn't look at my phone. I just sat in the chair and I closed my eyes and I did nothing. Because I was alone. And I had alone time. And I needed that to recharge. I lit some incense because one of my neighbors smokes a lot of weed, which nothing against. I smoke for my seizures. But my office reeked of weed because the windows were open. And I could just get that smell. So I closed out the windows, I burned some incense. It was beautiful. I was having the best time. He doesn't like incense. He doesn't like my candles. He likes his sense of candles, not mine. I can burn whatever I want in my room. But I sat there and I just zoned out because I was alone and it was glorious. And every time that I look around at what's still a mess and I say I should have been more productive, that voice in the back of my head has to keep reminding myself, you took care of yourself. You had your alone time that you needed. I'm rambling, aren't I? I feel like I'm truly rambling at this point. I feel like I just haven't had a relaxing vacation, which is to be expected. Like, yes, it's a vacation from work, but it's a trying to unpack vacation, but that's not what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be time to calm myself down from burnout. Let me just tell you something. The fact that it's Friday and I still haven't watched yesterday's new episode of Gossip Girl tells you how bad it's been. All right, thanks for listening to my nonsensical rambling that I'm pretty sure made no sense whatsoever, but I'm gonna go to bed now. Let's do something that's crazy. Let's do something we've never done. Let's do something amazing. Let's do something we really want, cause I don't care what we do. Dangerous.